managing Rozzy is a lot like what I imagine managing one of the greats would be like. He's demanding, he's hot-headed, and of course he thinks he knows everything. But he has the potential to be something great. It doesn't hurt that a sudden career change has Adelaide on the rampage, and my involvement in this latest venture makes it even worse for her. That was just a happy accident. This way. This is your office? The only space available. Please, have a seat. I'm glad you could be here. I'm sure we can work something out. But I want exclusive rights to all of Rossi's performances. Exclusive rights! Yeah! It's clear you don't understand how this works. I'm coming to you with an offer, an opportunity really, to be the first to direct a Rosie Snosborn live performance. This is an exclusive. If I agree to this, I must have final say in all editing and publishing. Final say. Yeah! Absolutely not. I'm funding this project. I'm the producer. All I need is someone to hold the camera and the other equipment so I'm free to micromanage everything else about the event. I'm not so sure about this. Let me confirm with my crew. Okay, we agreed to direct this little shindig of yours under two conditions. One, we get paid handsomely regardless of the final product. I told you up front, all I have to offer you in payment is $15 in Dairy Queen gift cards and one scandalous secret. And two, you provide us with state-of-the-art camera and sound equipment. Unbelievable! The whole reason why I came to you with these offers is because you already have the camera and sound equipment needed for this event. I can't believe you have the nerve to make these kinds of demands. This meeting's over! I think that went well. We almost had him. I could see it in his eyes. He was about to crack. You know, I feel completely undervalued and severely underused by Wilbur. I thought for sure I would have some creative input, but no. I have been reduced to the role of doorstop. I have great ideas, but no one wants to listen. <sighs> I'm telling you, I found the perfect venue. We're almost there. Okay, open your eyes. It's perfect, isn't it? This is the multi papist room. Yes, what we're planning is part music festival with a little behind the music documentary and a splash of VH1's storytellers. What better place to serve our purposes than the multi-purpose room? Is it too much to ask for a more proper setup? I want there to be a stage like Ariana Grande, one where I won't fall off the stage, but enter through the sides. Would anybody like to explain this to me? Well? All right, I guess I'll be the one to explain it. That is a piece of paper with some printing on it. It's unclear if it's laser printing or just regular ink, but with a few tests, I can definitely find that out. Becky, please tell me he's joking. I can't tell right now because the rage I'm feeling has distorted my vision. Of course he is, Madam President. Cosmo has a very unusual sense of humor. Let me see that. Oh. Well, I'll be there. So you do know about this? What gives you that idea? You're his best friend. I can see why Adelaide would draw to that conclusion. Then you, spill it or you'll be taking a long walk off a short pier. Is that supposed to be a threat? You do know I can swim, right? Just tell me what I want to know or you'll be swimming with the fishes real soon. I don't even like uni. Matter of fact, I don't like you. If I was to know something, which I don't, I certainly wouldn't be telling you about it. I don't understand why you have to be so defensive. I just thought that since you love sticking your nose in everybody's business, that you stuck your nose into this. But I was wrong. You're pathetic and worthless. I have something to say here. Finally. This is definitely laser printing. It has that, that nice industrial smell. Ugh! Whoa, looks like we have quite the crowd out there. Well, I hope you are all excited to see Rosie Snellsborn's first ever live performance. Woohoo! Go Rosie!
But first, let's welcome Arthur to the stage with a stand-up act that will surely tickle your funny bone. Have you ever wondered why pirates can never get their alphabet right? It's because they think there are seven C's. I've been thinking, shouldn't I be the official mascot? I mean, Rosie clearly doesn't have any plans to be the mascot anymore. Why shouldn't I get the benefits that come with this? There's benefits? Of course there are, right? I don't know. There has to be. But the question is, do I want to be the mascot? I mean, like, Adelaide's demanding. Very demanding. She once held up the cafeteria line until they made grilled cheese and chili in May. Was the chili spicy? No, it was bland. Wow, that really is awful. You know, I think I have a chance to get out from this mascot identity. A chance to cut my losses and run. Let Adelaide boss someone else for a while. Here, here, can, can you hold this? Well, I feel lighter already. Like a tremendous weight has just been lifted off my shoulders. I feel free. No longer will I pretend to be someone I'm not, but be who I truly am. Thank you for listening. Oh. Shout out to my boy Joffrey in the audience. Yoo-hoo, over here. I'm standing on this side of the stage, so I hope your hearing is better than your vision. Did you hear that? He just made fun of me! He made fun of my eye! Thank you, Arthur. But I'm not done yet. Everyone, please give a round of applause for Arthur. Personally, I think that went great. It's not my fault Joffrey doesn't have a sense of humor. Up next, we have Regina George and Biff Tannen in an act that they call, Give me all your lunch, my suckers! So, um, I guess Regina and Biff aren't here? Um, I'm not sure who will be coming on next, but I am sure that you will absolutely love them. Boo! We want Regina and Biff! We want Regina! We want Biff! Come on, guys! Come on, guys! What happened to Biff and Regina? They made all the changes you requested. They even removed all the bad language. You know how hard that is for them to do. Apparently Principal Mulligan felt like the act was still promoting bullying, so we had to cut it from the lineup completely. What? As if my nerves were already frazzled. People are just too sensitive these days. What are you still doing here? Go, go. My contract explicitly states that I must be notified as of any major change. And this is most definitely a major change. Just look at them! Only the pink unicorns are allowed in the castle, you idiot! But I'm fluffy! Too bad! Who in the right mind would choose this act over me? I know, right, morons? Yeah, but they're up there and I'm not. You shouldn't take this lying down. You need to take action. Regina and Biff are good, but to be passed over for an act like that? Ooh, I got it. I'll hold them down while you watch them squirm. What? Or I could throw them into the dumpster. They look pretty light. They probably like that. Poison! We should poison their food! That's murder! No, we shouldn't kill them. We should just help them start a personal relationship with the school's toilets. Now that's a great idea. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, give it up for a Rosie Snodborn. I was born ready. How is this possible? 
Teleportation, it's a thing now. How did I not know this? Idiot. Never know what it's like to be me. It's like by Yadley, I don't wanna be free. There's so much more to me that you'll never see. There's so much more that I want to. It took me years to pass pre-K. Triangles were a doozy. But I was a master at learning letters. Everything from A... to G. My mind draws a blank after that. Except for double V and Z. Honestly, the popularity hasn't gotten to my head. In fact, I still haven't gotten used to it yet. I still get shocked when people notice me in public. I can't believe you did this to me. All this time I thought we had a healthy relationship. Not now. Now is not the time. Well, when is a good time? I, I used to come first, but now you completely ignore me. Sod off, bloke. You can't ignore me forever. I can certainly try. Are you okay? Artists that inspire me would be Ed Sheeran, Flock of Seagulls, The Buggles, which inspired my hit song, Oh, Tears for Fears, Huam, The Cockroaches. Uh, aren't you thinking of the Beatles? No, you're thinking of the Beatles. I'm thinking of the Cockroaches. They're an obscure band that released one song. It aired on the radio for a week. Or got replaced by Melvin Pricely, the Prince of Rock. I can't believe you dragged me to this event. I thought that little traitor would be performing. How's that possible when he's sitting over there? As if I could or would ever drag you into anything. Shh! Some of us actually want to watch the performance. Who's talking down there? Hey, you! Stop trying to ruin my big moment! It's not me, it's them! No, it's not. Who are you going to believe? Me or that one-eyed, Sue Happy Maggot? This is unbelievable! I am sick of seeing people like you in my concert! This is a waste of time! I am not doing this anymore! to say is it isn't over until the fat lady sings or in this case until the bearded Brit sings again as Bastille said in the BBC Radio 1 live lounge cover of Miley Cyrus's song we can't stop don't take nothing from nobody I run things they don't run me or something like that